So I wanted to give a little update on my rice experiment that I did a video on earlier in the season and uh, just show you what's happening. Um, the rice plants are pretty happy because uh, last night or yesterday we got our first significant rain in about two months which is kind of important for rice because um, rice likes a lot of water and I haven't been able to give it uh, enough water throughout this season while it's been growing, which is why the plants don't look exactly uh, sort of healthy and robust here. They seem to be struggling, but I put the plants uh, in this little sort of depression where my uh, water system sends out my gray water from my house. So I have like a pipe that goes up to my house, comes out right here, and uh, so that's been giving it at least uh, some shots of water on a regular basis, more than they would get if they had been planted in my regular garden. And I've also been watering them in addition to that. But um, they do have some, you know, grains forming here. And, uh, <clears throat> and they have some tillers coming out. You know, these plants have multiple shoots and I don't know how long they're going to do this. Maybe they'll just do it all season and keep on sending out new tillers. But um, they've got this main one uh, head that's got some seeds on it and then they've got these other side shoots coming out. And uh, we'll have to see what I end up with. I know it's probably not going to be a lot of rice because <laughs> this is all that I ended up planting. I did plant some over there. Um, by the cattail pond, but those have kind of been overgrown and can't compete with the native grasses and, and weeds that are just inevitably going to grow right around a water source. So I tried to trim all that stuff back and I haven't looked at them in a while, but I don't think that there's much happening with those, even though they probably had access to more water than these plants did. So I thought I'd give a little update on the rice progress. This is what we have pretty much. Um, I've got some other plants around this area, but um, some of the stalks seem to be maturing. Like these ones are almost dry. I'm kind of wondering if I need to harvest them now before the birds get to them. Um, and some of them like this one is drying down already. They've, they sort of sent out initial shoots and then side shoots, little tillers off of those as they progressed in the season. And uh, it's not a lot. I probably could have planted these a lot closer than I have. But, uh, you know, you learn something and maybe I'll be able to use this seed next year and plant more of it and plant them a little denser than I have here. I guess what I wonder though is if these grains here actually have any kind of a seed in them because uh, it's possible that they could just be underdeveloped and not actually have any kind of a green in there which this one feels like it's totally empty and uh, I don't know what to do about that some of them don't feel that way but other ones do I don't know if that's from lack of water or what it could be I'm wondering if it's possible that these just didn't get pollinated because like some of these ones that developed later clearly have something inside of them. Like that one is thick and it clearly has a grain in it. But some of the earlier ones like this one here clearly does not have anything in it. It's just empty. And possibly, you know, planting them much thicker than this since they're probably wind pollinated would make it more likely that the grains would be pollinated and then they would produce an actual uh, seed in there. Let's see if I can get a shot of this. You can see how fat that particular grain is. I'll take it off and see if it's got anything inside of it. Oh yeah, that definitely has a little grain in it compared with the other ones that don't. You can see that seed even a little dried out by now. There we go. So that's the rice grain. Hmm. Tastes like nothing. <laughs> but I'm sure it would be better if it was 
cooked in, uh, you know, some kind of a Indian curry or something like that. So we'll see. We'll leave that for the future. So what I think we're going to do is just let these uh, dry down and mature and try to get to them before the birds do. And then next year, I'm going to plant them a lot thicker so that uh, when the pollination happens, they'll all get pollinated well. And then I'll have, uh, I'll have a lot more seed development in there. That's all I can do. It was uh, not too bad though. These, these didn't grow too bad considering uh, how dry an early season it's been and they didn't really take a whole lot of effort. They, they grew pretty well so I'm optimistic about the potential in the future of growing more of this rice. If any of you viewers out there have experience in growing upland rice and might know what's going on with these uh, rice grains and why they're not forming, leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. Well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, share, and give a thumbs up to the video. And I'll see you next time.